I've been getting some questions about the difference between SASE and SSC. Let's discuss five reasons why SSC might be your first choice when considering your go forward security strategy. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG. And while I work for ARG, this video is my own and does not represent the views or opinions of my employer. This channel is dedicated to helping technology leaders make great business decisions. Now, Security Service Edge, or SSC, and Secure Access Service Edge, SASE, or SASE, are both cloud-based security models that aim to provide security solutions to businesses. In fact, SSE is a subset of SASE. SSE includes some of the components of SASE, but not all. While they share some similarities, they do have distinct differences and benefits. I've, I have detailed descriptions of both topics on my channel. I'll link to a couple of them in the description of this video. So let's stick to why you might want to focus on SSE before SASE. The main benefits of SSC over SASE include the following. First, lower latency. SSC is designed to provide security services closer to the edge of the network, resulting in lower latency and faster response times. This is because the security services are deployed at the edge of the network, not at the edge of your perimeter. Um, and that's the closest point to the user device, typically, especially for remote users or people with a hybrid work environment. This means that there's less network traffic resulting in faster response times and better user experiences. This is particularly important for businesses that require real-time applications such as video conferencing, streaming, or other um, high latency type of, uh, type of applications. Next is flexibility. SSC allows businesses to choose their security services based upon their specific needs. They can select the security services they require and deploy them where they need them, resulting in more flexible and customizable security solutions. This allows businesses to tailor their security services to their specific needs rather than having to adopt a one-size-fits-all approach. Third is lower cost. SSC typically provides a more cost-effective solution compared to SASE. This is because businesses can choose the security services that we talked about in the customization area or the, or, the, or the flexibility point. They can choose their security services that they require and avoid paying for unnecessary services. For example, if a business only requires web filtering and not other security services, they can select web filtering and avoid paying for other service costs. This results in a lower cost for the business. Also, SASE includes a managed network element that naturally drives a higher cost because of the increased functionality. And typically, there's a hardware component associated with that uh, managed network service. All right, let's talk about increased control. SSE provides businesses with greater control over their security services. They can manage and monitor their security services themselves rather than relying on a third party provider. This means that the businesses can ensure that their security services are configured and maintained to meet their specific needs. It also means that the business can respond more quickly to security incidents as they have direct access to their security services. Of course, the caveat here is that this requires in-house expertise. If you don't have the expertise, then using a managed service provider is actually a benefit here. Lastly, better integration. SSE Solutions are designed to integrate with existing security infrastructure, such as firewalls, IDS, IPSs, and VPNs. This makes it easier for businesses to integrate their security services and maintain their existing security solutions and their existing investments. SSC can be deployed as an extension to existing security solutions rather than replacing them entirely. This ensures that businesses can maintain their existing investment, as I said, in the security infrastructure while also benefiting from the um, additional security services that SSC solutions offer. SASE strategies might require more strict adherence to a specific manufacturer. So that's one of the things you have to keep in mind with SASE. Overall, SSC provides businesses with more customizable, cost-effective, and flexible solutions for their security needs. It's particularly well suited for businesses that require real-time applications and want greater control over their security services. However, SASE may be a better option for businesses that for businesses that require a more comprehensive, more tightly integrated, and all-in-one security solution. SSE is becoming more and more important as organizations de-emphasize the perimeter or network edge 
With the cloud becoming the new network, we just need to adjust our approaches and to accommodate this new environment. If you want to continue the conversation around SSE, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description of this video. If you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a like, a thumbs up, and thank you very much for doing that. And lastly, if you want to find your way back to this channel in the future, just hit that subscribe button. That will allow you to find your way back here at your convenience. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.